China is modernizing fast, and this area of the country is automating faster than anywhere. It's no surprise it's a startup here that's automating farming too. We're going to fly about two meters per second okay. at one meter above the vegetable. And then go. Farmers simply order their field to be sprayed via social media. Artificial intelligence automatically calculates the size of the field, the amount of pesticide needed, and the optimum speed of the flight. The drone does the rest. The drone will plan the flight route itself. And sometimes we have power lines, we have houses and trees in the field, and the drone will actually avoid it. But there's no joysticks. Automating the process not only frees up the farmer, but it's also far safer. Because AI has calculated the route and the rate of flow, exactly the correct amount of pesticide is used, so none is wasted or poured into the rivers. And because the drones are smart, you can use as many as you want to speed things up. They won't crash, and the AI can even compensate for things like the weather. Well, we got a bit of the wind today. The AI would determine how many meters we need to move you know, to compensate that wind speed. It's a perfect example of this region being at the forefront of transforming China's economy from low value to high value. And it can even encourage farm laborers to move to higher paid jobs. But that means making sure their drones can do the work required of them day after day. Compared with a consumer's drone, this is more like a robotic arm in a car manufacturer. It's a super, super durable. You have to be reliable, working for thousands of hours without changing any parts. It's industrialized. It's made out of aeronautic-grade aluminium and carbon fiber, and every replaceable part has a QR code, so they know exactly how long it's been in operation for. The batteries are super well protected to prevent puncturing and exploding. Its rotary nozzles propel the pesticide at the speed of sound. Atomizing it to droplets small enough to stick to insects' wings, meaning even less pesticide is needed. X Aircraft now has 3,000 individual drones in operation every day across China, with every journey streamed back to HQ. There's 11,579 in Xinjiang alone in just the last week. X Aircraft, using separate surveying drones, has mapped all of China, taking thousands of aerial photos. The AI analyzes these maps to plot routes and avoid obstacles, so that means it needs to know what it's looking at. We train AI to recognize the boundary of the field. We have 30 staff marking the boundaries, marking the road, trees, houses. The field within the blue boundary is ready to fly. The AI can even recognize what kind of plant it's looking at, making sure it only sprays the right kind of crop, spraying, for example, lemon trees and avoiding grasses. It all helps save pesticide and make the process more efficient. But there's one more bit of AI they're working on here that is truly extraordinary. By using multi-spectral imaging in the surveillance photos, the AI can potentially even identify individual leaves that need spraying. In this area, for example, got disease very heavy, so we spray more here, but less here. We can save about 60% of all chemical use if we use this application in the future. It all adds up to huge efficiency improvements in one of China's largest industries. But what I love is that once again, Gong and his team aren't standing still. They're already working on the next generation of drones that are even smarter. So see that one? It's got eyes in front, like a robot. He can actually see. Because it's got the cameras in the front, when it's flying towards us, it will actually recognize human shape <laughs> and stop. Stopped. But my stick is still forward. We're living through this one. <laughs> By using cutting edge technology, this startup could revolutionize China's agriculture, just like robotic arms have revolutionized its manufacturing. X Aircraft is also making farming more eco friendly.